How's it going, Eliminators? Today, I'm gonna to be showing you why you want to keep the mower deck and the area around your transmission clean and free of debris. So with that being said, let's get right into it. So I'm in the shop today working on this Yardworks riding lawnmower. This is made by MTD. And this mower came into the shop about four months ago. It had a whole bunch of problems. We leveled the deck because the customer had hit something and, and bent just the front part of the frame there where the axle is. So he didn't want that fixed. So we just went ahead and leveled the deck out. While I had the deck off, I noticed that the drive belts were in very bad condition and suggested that it have brand new drive belts installed. So we did that. Now that was about four months ago and the customer has used this mower to cut his grass once a week. So he's gotten about 16 grass cuttings out of it. Uh, he messaged me and said that the drive belt had completely shredded, which is highly unusual. So I'm gonna show you guys here, I've pulled the battery and you guys can see it there. Here is the belt. Now you guys are gonna notice this is a blue, Sten's True Blue Aramid belt and just check this thing out, absolutely shredded. Normally, if you see something like that, an idler pulley has seized up or the belt has come off of the pulley for an external reason. We can see the three pulleys that I'm gonna wanna show you here. So the machine is currently in neutral and we can freewheel the transmission pulley here. If I put the transmission into drive, you guys are gonna see that it engages and the transmission moves the machine forward. So I can assume that there is not an issue with the transmission being seized. Also, what you're gonna to wanna to do is come down to the idler pulley, give the idler pulley a spin. We can see that there is nothing wrong with the bearing on that. And these variable speed pulleys here frequently seize up due to those bearings just getting bad. However, I'm gonna show you guys that's not seized. When you spin this top part, the bottom part also rotates. And you guys are gonna notice that the center that moves up and down to create your variable speed, that also moves. So it is not an issue with one of the pulleys seizing. This lasted for four months without an issue. So, you know, if I do a repair and then the next day the customer calls me and says there's an issue, chances are it could be an issue related to my repair maybe something that I did wrong, that's never out of the question. But when you do a job and the machine lasts for like four months and you know nothing goes wrong until something goes very wrong, like that belt completely smoking, that's where I had mentioned the you know outside external forces impacting the operation of the equipment. And I know that the old man had mentioned to me that KB's small engine repair had recently done a video on grass and debris. So here's a perfect time for me to talk about all of this dried grass, why it's important to clean it off of your machine. So you guys can see just how much dried grass is on the deck there. And then coming to the back of the machine, I had already scraped a bunch out, but this thing at the back is loaded with grass and you guys are gonna see there's a ton here. I've already started to scoop it out underneath the mower here so I can show you guys just what I've started to clean out of there. And I'm gonna tell you, none of that was there when I did the belt. I always take the air guns best I can to clean all of that out. So the external forces, I'm gonna say, so imagine this transmission spinning, the engine's running and some of that grass, maybe a clump, goes in between the pulley and the belt, that is enough to cause the belt to slip off of a pulley. Now, if the belt slips off of the pulley, then that pulley has nothing to ride up against and that idler spring loses all of its tension. So the idler spring falls off, the belt becomes slacked, and now you have a variable speed transmission. It's going to be pulling on a belt that could have easily slipped off of that idler pulley and now the belt just completely gets mangled inside of there. So when I pulled the battery, the belt was kind of like right up here. So I just grabbed it and pulled it and it came right out. So just to show you guys, I've taken the air tool and blown out as much of the grass that I could from around the pulleys and the transmission here. And then just to show you guys how much grass we're talking about here, I got a Gatorade bottle and you guys can see like that's a massive, pile of grass there and that's just off the transmission 
So just to show you guys, I have not cleaned off the top of the deck yet, which I'll be doing that next because obviously you don't want a bunch of dried grass getting sucked into one of the deck pulleys and then that would obviously throw the deck belt off. Now in KB's video, he had mentioned something other than what I'm saying, which uh, instead of the grass going in between the pulley and the belt and then forcing the belt off of the pulley, uh, what he mentioned was the grass can actually build up, you know, the variable speed system is trying to work, but because the idler arm cannot physically move, then the belt either has too much tension on it or not enough tension on it. And that could very well be the cause of the issue here as well. Now, when I initially picked this machine up, my customer said that there was a spring he had found. That is the return spring for that idler pulley. And I'll show you that in a minute. There was also this spring here, which you guys can see is broken. And if I put the diagram up on the screen, you're going to notice that from the shifter lever all the way across the riding lawnmower, there's a spring that basically holds the shifter lever in closer to the rider. So you guys can see there is the shifter and then it connects right to that part of the shift lever. Now getting the nut off of the top of the transmission pulley can sometimes be difficult, but what I have here is a Fat Max socket. It's a 7 8 and it's a 12 point. So you're going to notice that there's this bar here on top of the transmission. So that's what uh, allows the deck lever to rotate. So if you use a shallow 7 8 12 point socket, you can fit the socket in between this bar here and the transmission nut on the top of that pulley. Now we can go ahead and just lift the pulley off of the transmission there. And then that's pretty much all you have to do. The chassis of this machine acts as a belt keeper for the rear transmission pulley. So you have to remove the pulley so that you can put the belt tight in around the pulley. Once I have the belt number, I then enter that into Stens and there's two different belts that come up. The OEM replacement belt is going to be a 266-175 or you can get the 258-035. So as you can see here, once you get the belt wrapped around the pulley, then you can drop the pulley back onto the spline of the transmission shaft. My customer has opted for the OEM belt, a little bit cheaper of a belt. So hopefully this one lasts. Like I said though, I'm gonna just remind him to keep everything under here clean. Now this might be a little difficult to see, but the idler spring hooks onto the front lower section of the idler arm. And what I like to do is take some wire and hook it to the spring. And you're gonna notice that the cutout on the spring is towards the right side there. So by putting the wire through this cutout on the frame right there, that oval section. It allows me to grab a hold of the wire and then pull the wire through, pulling the spring through. And once you have that spring through, you just go ahead and pull out your wire here. That should pull out very easily, just like that, and you're done. So the upper drive belt has been reinstalled. Everything's good here. So now that the drive belt has been installed, I'm cleaning out the deck. Like, check this out, guys. Just absolutely buried with dried grass. That is the big chunk that I took out from here. That is all of the grass that I took off of the deck and from the transmission. So that's just a little snow shovel, a small one, but you guys can see that is an insane amount of grass. So, machine's cleaned up now. So now that I saw it drove forwards and reverse, uh, we needed to fix up the spring there. So we just added a spring that we had in the shop here. Seems to work good enough to uh, hold that shifter lever into position. So that pretty much wraps up today's repair. I also had a John Deere that came into the shop the day after that I did that yard works repair. And basically the same thing, customers said that they blew a deck belt and just check out all of the grass and debris. Of course, we have a stick here that you guys can see. 
is jammed up underneath that pulley. But as I go over, look at this one. This stick right here was jammed in between the pulley and the belt guard keeper there, and it wrapped around the pulley. So that's probably what threw the mower deck belt off. And just to show you guys, this is pretty much all of the grass and debris that I take off of a lot of the machines that I repair. The other thing that I wanted to mention is things like the idler return spring here. So on that John Deere, I had removed the idler return spring so that I could uh, get slack on the pulley to reinstall the new belt. And you guys can see just the condition of that spring. So I ended up replacing that and I was lucky enough to have one of those springs in stock because unfortunately this is a common problem with a lot of these John Deere mower decks and pretty much any mower deck when you have a bunch of grass and debris built up on the deck and not frequently cleaned, that grass is going to hold moisture. It's going to leach itself into the deck. You guys can see the condition of the aluminum spindle there. Obviously, there's a lot of corrosion there. The paint has pretty much stripped itself off of one of these metal belt keepers here. So you can see a bunch of rust there. And obviously, the idler spring, it loses its paint. It loses its protection and then starts to rust and then starts to get thinner there. So again, you guys want to be cleaning the mower decks and the areas around your transmissions. Keep it clean and you won't run into these issues. Well, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you guys enjoyed it, think about leaving me a thumbs up. You know, it really helps me out. You can click here to subscribe and click over here to watch one of my previous videos. I upload every single week, so be sure to stop on by next week. Check channel out for new content. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.